Stay back, you guys! Something is seriously wrong with the hallway monitors! Help! Please! That's Gary Nielsen! Don't touch him, he's ginger! We came to school the morning after the earthquake to report for duty. <coughs> we didn't know school had been canceled. <laughs> we heard a sound from down here. Found this green goo. It, it was everywhere. It changed the other hallway monitors. <coughs> Served you right for being a patsy-ass hallway monitor in the first place. Something in the goo. It... It... Did Ah, somehow that green goo makes ginger hallway monitors even lamer! Big pirate!
I'm gonna do my wall dance now. Boy, this is Nito. Uh. Dude, what happened to these kids? Just a lost German exchange student. Stuff looks like boogers. <laughs> Please don't ice me, homie. Sorry. You get it your best shot, and that's all Jesus asks of you. We're breached! Battle stations! Let's see how you like some flaming dog shit! Look. Elves, hold the line, god Suck it, Stan! Try not 
to say anything. They might hear you. There he is. I got plenty of dog shit, douchebag. I'm zeroed in. New kid. Let's see you handle both of us. Got him. Got him. Come on, new kid. Let's show them what we can do.
Jesus! We gotta help him, new kid. Oh, Hang on, Tweak! It means you get a free wish. This is it. You have the honor of leading the final assault, Commander. That's Jew King. The stick doesn't belong with a fat, racist liar. All right, Cal, you fucking asked for it. Go ahead and kick his ass, douchebag. New kid, Cartman is using you. Can't you see it? He's a manipulator. You're just jealous because the new kid picked me as a friend over you, Cal. You've got one last chance, new kid. Turn around and fight Cartman instead. Do the right thing. Don't let him Jew wash your brain, new kid. Attack him, now! Make him shut up! It's not me you should be fighting, it's him. So pick a side. Kick his ass, douchebag. I can't believe this is even a choice. Oh, you motherfucker! I knew you were a fucking douchebag! I thought what we had together was real, douchebag! Hey, will you go to a restaurant with me? Because I like to be taken out. Hey, right, right. There's only one Grand Wizard of the KKK. The evil wizard has 
been defeated. Great job, new kid. Goff Gibbs, take the stick from inside his desk. Victory is ours! Hey, wait a minute. Our desks don't have insides. What? Desks at this school just have tabletops. But... Twitter said... That... Look over here. This desk has writing on it. Check my locker. Whose desk is that? That's... That's Clyde's desk. of Zarod. Clyde! He took the stick! While you've all been busy fighting amongst yourselves, I have built a kingdom beyond your comprehension. I prayed for a way to destroy you all, and the solution came crashing down from the heavens. Oh no, it's more of that green stuff! With what I have found, I shall raise an army of the dead! But why? I banished him to be lost in space and time, and now he's all pissed off. So you see, fools, I control the stick and the future of the Earth. Clyde, do you want a sandwich? Not now, Dad. I'm making a Ruler of Darkness video. Whoever controls the stick controls the universe. And my first deed is that I hereby denounce the human and the elf kingdoms and strip both kings of all their power. <laughs> Motherfucker! Oh, hello, boys. Can we speak to Clyde, please? Oh, Clyde's out playing in the backyard with his little friends. Come and get it, losers! <laughs> you can't do that, Clyde. You're lost in time and space. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are, asshole! Army of Darkness, defend the fortress! Greg, you're on my side! You don't have authority anymore. The Keeper of the Stick said so. This can't be happening. God damn it, I have fucking authority! Sorry, warriors and wizards. I'd love to invite you into my Fortress of Darkness, but I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? What do you mean we're too late? There you are, butters. Do you know what time it is, mister? It is way past your bedtime. Oh, shit, it's past our bedtime? Dude, I'm gonna get it! <laughs> Clyde, it's past your bedtime. <laughs> okay, coming, Dad. Hello, hello. You missed the news. Looks like we're going to have the country's largest... Good night, my little gumdrop. Hope you're enjoying all the peace and quiet in our new home as much as we are.
fetch of the wrong now. just sometimes feel like we should tell him the truth. Why? So we can relive it all in his head? It's better that he can't remember. But if he really has this gift, he, he's going to discover it again on his own anyway. And then they'll try and use him for his gift, and he'll become a weapon. They won't stop looking for him. We have to keep everything secret, even from him. I'm so frazzled. Will you just make love to me? Of course I will, darling.
me in the panties. Since a lot of our best guys are dead by your hand, can you help us collect underpants? We just need a few more to hit our quota. Holy shit, you did it! This goes a long way toward making up for killing all our fucking friends. Emergency meeting at the Elven Forest. I've been discovered. You must teach me to see as you do, human. Last night, 
I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is... You have something to say, wizard? Uh, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. <laughs> you guys, this is serious! Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so... Our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that! We do not team up with fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell a butter that that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you t t suck my elven dick, butters? Enough! Whether we are human or elfins are gonna matter one bit if all of Zaron is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The Pirates, the Federation, and the girls. The girls? Kyle, the girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends. I'll give him that. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war! Huzzah! I always see these strange emo children smoking next... What is this? The boys want us to play with them? I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, Sparkle, Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Oh. Ew. Yeah. What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened and we must do something. I know, I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We 
have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're gonna send Monica a Facebook page with your picture, then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood, and you wanna meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be, and see if Monica tries to hit on you at all, because that way we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. What was it like in there? Is your technology more advanced than ours? Hey, Big Nose. You should consider having some work done. I don't like this. Are you sure we can try? Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced, if you ask me. But, hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! Uh -huh. We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank. Guys, wait! Please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand this. Justice shall strike the nail of evil into the board of these ah. sorry! <laughs> By the hammer of butters! Oh, I'm sorry. I did that! Oh, I wanted to show mercy! True, you made an alliance with the goth kids? The girls want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever you're ready. All right, then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, we want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me, then tries to stab me in the back. Right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! You did that to their strut your super bonus! Are you sure you want to wear that? You're as ready as you'll ever be, I guess. Let's get to the clinic.
right, new kid. Get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. Hi, hey, 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 Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. Skank. All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. You're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Well, next to a real girl, that is. Hi, here for an abortion? It's okay, don't be scared. The first one's always the scariest. Take room A, second door to your left. I'm sorry, your little friend. I'll wait right here, don't forget about me. Hi, I'm Dr. Poon Lover. Get on up in the chair and this won't take long at all. Hey, little young to be having an abortion, aren't we? It's okay, we have a booster seat. All right, just sit back and relax. We'll get that fuck trash taken right out of you. Here we go. Ugh. Hey, that's not a fetus, that's a prostate. Get on up in the chair, and this won't take long at all. Hey, little young to be having an abortion, aren't we? It's okay, we have a booster seat. All right, just sit back and relax. We'll get that fuck trash taken right out of you. Here we go. What the... Wow, never seen that before. You burned out the vacuum. I'm gonna have to get this thing fixed. Be back in a minute. Access granted. Thank you, Doctor. Ah! Ah, damn it! Oh, it's you! Thank God! Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. They've been here looking through these records, but why would they be interested in the gynecological files of the women of South Park? I'm afraid now you know too much. We have two more asking a lot of questions. Deal with them quietly. We can't let anyone find out what we were doing there. Before you kill us, tell us why. Why is Taco Bell taking the records of women's vaginas in South Park? I'm picking up some hot readings on the ESRB. Tell us, what do women's vaginas and Doritos Locos Tacos have in common? ESRB is going crazy. Oh, shit! There's an outbreak here! We have contamination in Sector 7! All units to Sector 7 now! Secure the entire building! Put that woman in restraints! Ah! What's going on? Uh, Taco Bell security. Your clinic is infected with a Nazi zombie virus. Nazi zombies? That's ridiculous! And bigoted! I happen to be German! He's one of them! Ah! Tell people what you saw here today. 
Let's go, quarantine the place. There's something crawling under the floor, sir. Everybody move! Oh, uh, what's going on? I, I'm just here for an operation. <laughs> oh, there you are, Doctor. I'm ready when you are. Is this going to hurt, Doctor Teehee? There's something fishy going on here. I think they might be Nazi zombies. We'll see if you're a real doctor. Give her an abortion. Do it! Oh, goodness! Christmas time is once a year. Every critter Phew. holds it. Ow, my balls! My Every balls! My balls! My, my favorite shopping malls. I'll close at five, Doctor. Can we please so get this over with quickly? All. It's once a year. It's Christmas time. Oh, that's cold. That's and it cold. Happens once a this year. is about as wide it's as I can get, Doctor. Year, it's Christmas time. Okay, okay, do it. I'm when ready. We hear about how Christmas only comes once a year. Oh boy! Oh, balls, balls. Oh god, it's snack. He did it! All right, so he is a real doctor. What the hell? Oh shit, clear the building! The area's been compromised! Get out now! Ah, uh, you go ahead. Might be a while before I can walk very well. Ah! What the hell is that? He's in Deutschland! Stay good! Mathers? Where did you find the alien goo? Broken vials were in the trash can, sir. What could have come into contact with it in the trash can of an abortion clinic? Oh, my God. I'm here for you, buddy. God damn it. Look at that little fella. Are those little babies sucking blood? I don't think I like you very much. Another 
what's up with those weird babies? We should get this guy to a doctor before it's too late. <laughs> Dang it, I'll make it. What are they? Man, those little babies are pissed off. They're killing us! Hey, it's a holocaust. Babies are eating my brains! <laughs> 